So I got myself this old and quite ugly beast that's from about 1987, has this natural oak finish with lots of damage. You can see that the finish has peeled in a lot of places because of poor care and in some spots because of age. Today I'm gonna show you how I refinished it and turn it into a real beauty. Before I start any work, the piano needs to be disassembled. Some panels are removable, which is great because this way it will allow me to finish each one separately in a professional way. The keys are also removable. By removing them, I'll be able to properly clean it inside. There is lots of dust and evidence of mouse activity. The first step is to sand each panel and design element to remove the old finish. I'm using this electric sander with the sanding paper number 120 for large panels. I do manual sanding with sanding paper number 180 for small elements and to achieve the smooth finish on large panels. The brass parts have to be removed so that the wood under them can also be refinished. The parts that couldn't be removed needed to be sanded right on the spot. I have never done so much sanding in my entire life before. It took several hours over four days to complete the sanding job. Now it's finally done and I'm ready for the next step.
All right, now the real fun begins. I chose to use the gel stain because it doesn't drip, which is very important as I have many vertical surfaces to finish. Wipe off the excess stain and it reveals the beautiful espresso finish. I have to admit that this staining process is very satisfying. It's super inspiring to see how this piano is transforming right in front of my eyes. Working with stain is a really messy job, but the results are super beautiful. Now that both the sanding and the staining have been done, I have to put the piano back together. And of course I had to give it a try to see how it sounds. last touch is to put the brass elements back on. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to do similar projects. Don't be afraid, this was my first time and I think I did a pretty good job.